everyone. This is Angelica. How are you today? So today I'm going to talk about Saturn. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, where you might have Saturn in your natal chart and how that will affect you. And then also where Saturn is currently, it's in Scorpio, the sign of Scorpio, and how <clears throat> that will be affecting you and what house that will be in. And I'll kind of just run through all the signs and let you know uh, where Saturn is. And the way to really do um, well in astrology, it's really simple. What you want to do is you want to uh, <clears throat> feel the energy of the planet. So once you know um, the houses, the 12 houses, which are really easy to learn, um, and then you know, so you know the energies of the houses, and then you also know the energy of each specific planet, then you have a good idea of what that might mean if Saturn were in a specific house. So I'll use myself as an example so that, um, because I know from personal experience um, what, where I have my planets and what's going on right now um, for Sagittarius. So I'll start there. I'll let you know where I have Saturn in my natal chart and how that has played out in my life. And then I will also talk about where Saturn is right now. Now, Saturn moved into a new house for two and a half years, I believe back in October. <clears throat> and I was a little bit concerned about that because I didn't quite know how Saturn would work in my 12th house. So Saturn moved into my 12th house for Sagittarius. It basically moved into the 12th house for all Sagittarius. But it also moved into a new house no matter what sign you are. And I'll go through um, those houses <clears throat> in a moment. First, let me explain the energy of Saturn. So Saturn, it's, a, it's an important planet because it teaches you lessons. Uh, teaches you the lessons you need to learn to be a better person. Um, Saturn isn't always fun. It's not like Jupiter. Um, Jupiter rules Sagittarius, so... <clears throat> Jupiter tends to be a happy kind of, you know, expansive, good luck planet um, and can get into trouble for being those things at times. Um, but normally Jupiter does rule luck, so you can get lucky and get out of it. But still, Saturn is more about uh, hard work, like doing, taking the steps, step by step to achieve what it is you're trying to achieve. And sometimes Saturn will not um, allow you not to do it. So, um, and it's kind of similar with Pluto. Pluto is more transformational, but with Saturn, um, it pushes you up against whatever uh, situations you're dealing with in that house. So uh, if you have Saturn in your fourth house, it's going to make you look at your home life, your roots, your foundation, where you came from, and correct any issues that might be going on there so that you can have a better home life. You know, so Saturn does bring gifts for um, going through the hard lessons it's teaching you and will make you a better person. So sometimes, you know, Saturn does get a bad rap because people don't like hard lessons. People don't like to, you know, go through these hard things in their lives in order to become better. So, let me just tell you, um, I have Saturn in my needle chart in Virgo. Virgo is about completing, um, Virgo rules the sixth house, which is about health and work, daily activities, um, being consistent with things, um, you know, really being um, into health. And um, doing things in kind of a, a way that is um, just always working hard at something um, every day. Um, taking care of the details and taking care of the small things so that they create the bigger thing in our daily lives. And I've had trouble with those things, but I'm getting better as I get older. Um, and so wherever Saturn is in your needle chart, this is where you will have lessons. And if you can get through the lessons that Saturn is trying to teach you, in that chart, in your chart, you will become your best self. And so I talk about this in a lot of my videos. There's lots of paths to becoming your best self. And this um, is another one with Saturn. 
um, doing the things that Saturn is trying to teach you to become your better self. And so um, once you learn the lesson of Saturn, where it is natally in your chart, then um, you will create really big things for yourself. And um, so my lesson, I also have my north node in Virgo. So that's the path that I'm supposed to be going on, Virgo. Um, doing the small things every day, kind of in a scheduled, systematic way. Um, taking care of the small things, you know. Things, I'm more creative. I'm more kind of, because I have Pisces in my south node, I've already come from this dreamy, kind of spiritual um, other dimension. And I've got that covered, like I know all about that. But here I am on the earth trying to lear learn my north node. And I'll, t I'll do another video on north node. But to have that with Saturn and the North Node is big lessons for me with Virgo. And um, I love Virgos. They're my fa some of my favorite people, actually. So Because I learn a lot from them, and I love to learn. I want to be my best self. Okay, so now that we know that Saturn is about teaching lessons, I'm going to go through and talk to you about where Saturn is in your chart. I'm just going to go through all the 12 signs and tell you, since you know the energy of Saturn, what house it's in for you, and it's going to be in the early degrees of um, the signs. So um, I'll start with Sagittarius because that's me, and I can give you an example. Um, Sagittarius, Saturn moved into the 12th house. My birthday is November 23rd. I'm right in the beginning of, Sa of the sign of, of Sagittarius on the cusp of Scorpio. So... Saturn will be really affecting people earlier in the signs, okay? So the 12th house rules the unconscious, rules the unseen, um, rules the things like within us that we really need to, uh, well, we don't always need to, but it's kind of the underlying of, of our being. Um, what's underneath our unconscious, um, you know, emotions, feelings, things hidden deep within that we didn't always know we had until Saturn hits um, the 12th house. And I read a couple months before this was going to happen because I've been researching it because I'm like, whoa, I don't even know what to think of that. I, you know, a little bit concerned. And now I'm seeing that it is really affecting me on a, on a really big level because um, I just know the power of Saturn and I've been paying close attention to it since it was um, in my ninth house, I think when I really started paying attention to Saturn, when I had my uh, Saturn return. And I'll do another video on that. That's a good topic, too. So, anyway, Saturn is cr making me pay attention to and work through my, my deeper underlying emotions and feelings. And, wow, that's not fun all the time. That's really... Um, that's really difficult because I really have to go within and be like, whoa, like these things that I'm doing that I thought were, you know, didn't know why I was doing them and this is why. And, oh, it's just unraveling this huge thing. So anyway, um, it's not so fun, I don't think. But, you know, it's never fun with Saturn. But it's very beneficial and I'm really excited to see how this is going to help me grow. And so the 12th house... Uh, 12 houses for me is kind of hard, harder to explain. Uh, it deals with the spiritual realm, retreating, going within, kind of meditating and being, um, there's a bird, being with yourself and um, looking within. So, moving on. I don't want to make this video too long. So, what I'll do now is I'm just going to kind of go um, backwards from Sagittarius. So next we have Scorpio in the first house. So Scorpio is learning um, lessons, just had Saturn move through their 12th house, and now it's in their first house. So this deals with personality, how you're seen in the world, um, how you can make changes and become a better person um, through your actual self-image or personality. And since you've already worked through the 12th house stuff, this, um, this is going to be... You work with the inner stuff, and now you can go and work with the outer. And so um, that's a wonderful thing. Libra has Saturn in the second house of um, resources and money, things of value, self-worth. So the second house, uh, Saturn in the second house is really going to help you to create 
better structures um, with your money and with things that you value and and also with your own self-worth, maybe your time and energy. Where are you putting that and how would you like to, um, you know, spend that in the correct way? So energy is money, money, energy coming from you. Like where, what are you doing with your your resources and your money and your time and your things you value. So those will come into focus. Virgo is the third house. So um, Virgo is working with communications, um, how they they talk with people, how they're perceived, how um, conversations go, writing, speaking, uh, siblings uh, rules the third house. So maybe you're having, Virgos are having lessons to learn with uh, siblings. Um, also rules short distance travel, so maybe you'll be having things come up with uh, traveling in short distances. So I would think that that would be a little bit easier um, transit to have, to have Saturn in your third house. Leo is um, has Saturn in the fourth house. So Leo is dealing with the example that I uh, told you about earlier, home, roots, foundations, um, where, where, where's our home, like learning lessons in um, how we feel safe in our home base. So they may be having things, maybe they're moving or maybe they're staying in the same place, but things are changing, people are moving in or out, maybe they're wanting to create more stability in their home environment. Saturn's going to be bringing lessons in this um, house for Leos and this will become important to them. And something that they need to look at in order to become better. Um, Cancer has Saturn in the fifth house. Fifth house rules creativity, children, love, romance, fun. So this is an area where Cancers will be focusing on um, how can you create your life in a uh, better way in order to um, bring more fun in. You will be called to look at how you use your creative energy and um, put that maybe more to use. Maybe have more fun if you're working too much. Um, so Saturn's going to be teaching you um, lessons in how to um, make this area work better for you in your life. Okay, and so Gemini, the sixth house. The sixth house um, of work and health, day-to-day -day activities and routines, dealing with health or work. So, um, maybe you're busy, um, maybe Geminis are busy at work, um, doing the little things, the little detail, everyday things um, to get the job done. Uh, maybe they're starting new health routines, Saturn's making them look within at their health, and they will have to do um, consistent exercise routines or maybe change their diet to something better. Saturn will be working with you on that. Taurus, seventh house. So Tauruses are learning lessons um, dealing with relationships, committed partnerships, um, business partnerships, how they interact with people, and not people in general like the population at large, but with close partnerships. Um, partnerships that where they'll be working with someone on a daily basis or living with someone on a daily basis. So Saturn will be teaching you lessons on how you're going to be interacting with your significant other or with your business partner and how you can create a more stable, um, sustainable relationship in order to grow as a person. All right. So Aries, we have um, eighth house. Um, Saturn's in your eighth house of um, <clears throat> deep intimacy, um, this is another money house, but it's more shared resources, um, possibly like dealing with inheritances and um, sexual relationships. Um, Scorpio rules the eighth house, so this is a very like deep, dark, kind of um, intense house, the eighth house. So this you're going to be learning lessons on possibly sharing resources with someone, um, creating deep transformation within through your sexual energy or um, um, creating a deeper bond. Like if you um, 
already have a committed partnership, creating a deeper bond with that person, kind of almost on like a spiritual level and taking it um, further into like a more spiritual kind of realm. Okay, so Pisces has Saturn in the ninth house. So Saturn in the ninth house is dealing with long distance travel and education, philosophy, religion. Um, so you will be um, possibly maybe being pushed to really take a look at um, your education. Maybe you want to go back to school, go back and get more higher learning. Um, maybe you'll be learning lessons through traveling to distant places, maybe to another country. Um, you'll be opening your eyes more to different cultures, uh, different ways of seeing things, you know, bigger picture of um, what's possible, um, possibly new, like, religious subjects and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> okay, Aquarius. Aquarius has Saturn in the 10th house. So, now Saturn's going to be here for about two and a half years to let everyone know. Um, so Aquarius, you have Saturn in the 10th house, meaning you're going to be really be focusing on your career, um, how you're seen in the world through your work, um, public recognition. Um, <clears throat> Saturn's going to ask you to work even harder at your job in order to get the recognition that you deserve. So it's going to be hard. I remember having Saturn in my 10th house and actually... Um, my experience with it was great because it was really hard for me to do the things I had to do at my job, but when I did them, I became the, the top salesperson in all of the whole North Bay of California, which is all San Francisco, and I'm way up in Santa Rosa, so, I mean, after about a year and a half, I was at the top. And, uh, but I worked really hard to get there. So Saturn in the 10th house is actually a real blessing, and it's a great, great uh, <clears throat> um, transit to have. You just have to work really hard with it. So um, the last one's Capricorn. Capricorn, you have Saturn in the 11th house. So this is going to really make you see how you work in group situations, social situations, how do you work with others, group organization. <clears throat> your hopes, dreams, and wishes will come into focus. Like what are your deepest held hopes, dreams, and wishes, and how can you work harder to achieve those things and to work better with people um, out in the world, in social situations, community projects. These will all be coming into focus. Now, just to remind everyone, Saturn's not easy. Like, you know, <clears throat> when Saturn moves into the house or it's moving over, like, you know, the first degrees of it or the middle degrees or the last degrees, depending upon when you were born, when it's really hitting you, it's like, whoa, some of the things that you didn't know were there will come into focus, and that can be hard. People don't like to look at the hard stuff. They like to just fly right over that and get to the good, you know, <clears throat> the good stuff. But, you know, this is life. There's good, there's bad. We've got to just kind of take more of a neutral approach to life. <clears throat> and kind of, you know, not let things get to us, whether it's really good or really bad. Kind of just be neutral, you know, because there's always good and bad. And if Saturn is teaching us lessons right now, we'd be thankful. This is great. This means I'm going to become a better person. This means I'm going to be all that I can be now. <clears throat> and it's going to continue to grow and grow. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to also be making some other astrological videos. <clears throat> talking about some of the other planets and possibly where they are in your chart. Because I know you guys, I can tell by the views on YouTube that you guys really like astrology. And I'm really good at it. Um, well, I like to think that I'm good at it. I've been studying it for 15 years or so. And um, so I understand the energies of the houses, and I really understand the energies of the planets. And I also understand from just my own experience of the planets moving through my own chart. And that's what I like to talk about, my own experience. Um, how this works. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.